Well, welcome everybody to a part of the world where football really matters. There is a healthy tension, great expectation building in the lead up to kick off here. A little bit grey overhead, and indeed the forecast is for a drop or two of rain as the day grows older. But regardless of that, there is a lovely backdrop here. The ambience is good, smashing noise from both sets of supporters and expectations high in both camps. And this must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. our understanding that they've gone with a 4-5-1 well the lone striker has to be prepared to do some of the work himself but essentially he needs two of the three central midfielders to make runs beyond him and trust that the wide men can can service the penalty box and make those link up runs from out to in he should get plenty of support with this setup Off we go then. Juba. Golovin. And it's Cherishev. Gets up to head it! Oh, that is an awful miss. Well, he did get himself into a good position something for him to cling to. Tries to get it forward quickly. Can he deliver? Just brushed off the ball there. Juba. And now the breakaway. Cooks through there. Cherishev. There's the de massive leap! Goal! And what a great way to start the game to spark the game, I mean the captain has basically triggered a contest that should be even livelier than we anticipated, get your seatbelts on, this could be rather exciting. Well you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too, it was all very well drilled. Russia take the early advantage. Russia making the ideal start. It is something to build on. Always when you score early, it gives you such a lift and it, it casts doubt in the minds of your opponents at the same time. And that pretty much sums up the difference in what we've seen. One team assured, the other a little unsure. it into the middle <laughs> throw it
Cherishev. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. Shoots! Oh, denied brilliantly! Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. We've played it short. Oh, that's a fine challenge. And the counter is on. Lobs it in gently. And the shot! Oh, he did the hard part right, but fluffed the finish. Yeah, the ball in there was simply superb. He won't be too happy that it's gone to waste like that. Forward it goes. Golovin battles to win it back. And now they can launch a counter. We sit high. Tries to get it clear. Cherishev. Aimed in towards the centre. And the finish! Oh, taken with style! Two up and threatening to pull clear! It's a keeper's nightmare, Peter. He just couldn't pick up on it until it was way too late, having so many bodies in front of him. Russia take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. And they're not going to make any further progress now. Uh, ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Hoists it forward. And it's played forward. Russia are leading with half time drawing close. So who's he picking out? Beautifully done. Could cross it here. Danger averted for now. Well, they can break here. And it's Cherishev. He's in space and looking for options. Up to meet it! He's done well to get his head on that, but couldn't score. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Forward it goes.
whistle goes for half time. Some first half thoughts. Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? Russia in at half time on a comfortable two goal cushion. Start of the second half. Oh, well played. He's taken that really cleanly. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Tries to get it forward quickly. Golovin spreads it towards the left. Cherishev. Has a pop! That's a half-decent try. Well, the look on his face says it all. Golovin gets it back. Juba. Kudryashov. Kudryashov drives it forward. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. Finland have anticipated uh, an aerial bombardment. Just looks like mass defence. Yeah, it's a case of needs must at certain times, Peter, and, and they have to respond to what's being asked of them. Golovin. Now a chance to break. And that's sprayed out wide. And he's cut it out. Pinged forward. Good challenge. He just stood firm. Looking to break out here. Hoists it forward. And it's played forward. Now the counter. Plays it out to the flank. It's a great ball. That is as far as they're going to go. Good idea, just poorly executed. The referee is given a corner. Ah, <laughs> oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. So calm under pressure. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked the scoring position when it didn't seem on. It's really crafty business, that. Russia take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Well, that's a foul. Free kick's been given.
sounding, albeit from an unexpected source. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team, really, your striker should be the first line of that defence, and, and he's delivering. He's not played the ball, that's a foul. Just the talking to, I think. Yes, it is. And he's there to clear it. That'll be a throw in. Looks to dink one in. Well, no doubt someone is being given special treatment here. Well, being a target man in, in his team makes him a target for the opposition too, and, and they're trying to make him a no-go area. Tries to switch the play. Out to the left it goes. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, real danger here! Kudryashov. Well, that's where he wants it. Right through the middle. Great leap! Harmlessly behind. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Well, he's worked so hard for a side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. This official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. Juba. Played down the flank. Cheryshev gets away from his opponent. Goes for the cross. And that has been cleared. Swung in towards the middle. And goes to finish! No mistake! Over the hills and far away! No catching them now! Looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Finland making another change here. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he... And the referee brings it to a close. Russia very much the dominant side, almost the only side. Every time they put on the ball, they look like scoring. It is a landslide. Why don't you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Russia showed us why it's so important to seize the initiative. Once in front, they grew in belief and, and rarely looked at risk.